In this video, you're going to practice um, removing backgrounds from images um, a little bit more. We can use some slightly different tools this time. So the first thing that I want you to do is to open up your T-Rex image. This is the one you, you worked on last time. I'm going to get rid of these other images that I don't need. And I want you to um, open up two further images, um, or three further images. The first of those images um, is uh, a title, so we're going we're to create a simple movie poster, um, a title for the poster, and then we're going to um, bring in two characters that are going to be on the poster as well. So we're just going to go on the file and open. Okay, I'm going to come across to my um, pen drive, because that's where I've, I've got them saved. So I'm just going to go um, onto my pen drive and digital imaging that's three okay so the images that you're going to use are um, and these are the exact images you're going to use is the jurassic world okay so that's um, that one we're going to use file open again and we're going to open up the running man and i'm going to open up another image and we're going to open up that one. Okay, so last time then, if we go back very quickly, we looked at using layers. So we use layers uh, to hide part of the dinosaur. Okay, we used the, uh, the magic wand tool to take off the white background from the dinosaur and dragged it onto the, um, the, uh, the, the image of the field. Um, and then we, like I say, we use layers then to, to hide part of the dinosaur. So the dinosaur looks like it's coming out from behind the trees. So we're going to build on this image. So the first thing we're going to do is to go on to um, the easiest of my images. Okay, this one, because it's just got a white background. Remember that when we work with images, we must make sure that we unlock the layer. Otherwise, we can't do anything with it. So we just need to double click the layer. Okay, this pop box pops up. Just click OK. That layer is now unlocked. The padlock has now disappeared. Okay. So we're going to come across to the magic wand tool, which is over here. Just hold the mouse button down on that, uh, that icon magic wand tool and I'm going to select the background of my um, image. So I'm going to press delete on the keyboard. You can see that I've got the checkerboard so that's deleted that. However, because I've got a closed section of the image, so the arm and the suitcase or the briefcase and the uh, the back and the back of the leg form a shape, a, a closed shape, it won't delete this. So we'll have to click in there, select that bit separately and delete that as well. So that's that background deleted, quite straightforward. We're going to now move this image into uh, our park image. So I'm just going to use the move tool. I'm going to click, drag, drop into my park image. I'm going to make this slightly smaller and I'm going to flip it because obviously it's going to be a bit strange if the man's running towards a dinosaur. So I'm just going to make it slightly smaller and we're going to flip the image. Okay, why we do that will become clear in a second. So we're going to start working on the second image now. So that's the um, this one here, the man running away. This one's not quite so straightforward because it's not a solid background colour. So we're going to have to be careful when we select. So uh, if we use the magic wand tool, let's un unlock the background again first. If we use the magic wand tool like we did last time, okay, you can see that if I delete that, I delete part of the um, shirt as well. So there are ways around that, um, but. Um, I want you to use some different tools. So we're going to use a combination of the um, selection tool and the eraser tool. So I'm going to just hold the mouse button down on there and I'm going to use the quick selection tool. And I'm just going to draw until it starts snapping. Okay, that'll do for there. So I'm going to press delete there. Okay, let's see what happens if I come across here. Okay, that looks good. Delete that. See what happens if I come across here. Right, so if I come across here, it's now starting to delete my arm. So I, what I'm going to do, hold in the Alt key on the keyboard. You can see, you should be able to see that my plus changes to a minus, and I can unselect areas of the image. Okay, so I'm just unselecting part of my image. Let's see if I can just snap back in there a little bit. Okay, I'm going to delete that. Okay. Now I need to get rid of this selection, so I'm just going to use the marquee tool. I'm just going to click on the screen to get rid of my selection. And now I'm going to use the eraser tool. So first thing I'm going to do is to, is to zoom in. So using the Alt key and the, and the scroll wheel on the mouse, I can zoom in on my image. 
Okay, I'm going to come across. So I'm going to get rid of this part. So to do that, I use the eraser tool. I'm going to change the size of my eraser tool. Okay, and I'm going to start erasing around this background. So it's, don't rush it, take your time with it. Okay, and what I wanted to do is delete that section so we can't see any grey. Okay, so I'm going to start reducing my brush size now. So I'm going to bring my brush size down. Okay, let's tidy it along here. Better. Let's get rid of that there. And now I want to go inside the fingers. I'm going to just reduce that more. Okay. Like I say, take your time, don't rush it. Okay, you're going to do a better job than me. Okay. Just for the sake of the video. Okay. And that will do me. Okay, so you get the idea. When I'm happy with that, let's take a little bit more of the elbow there. When I'm happy with that, I'm going to zoom back out. I'm going to use my move tool and I'm going to move my other man onto my image. Okay. Right. You see that this one's gone back to normal, and the reason why that's happened is because we forgot to do something when we were working on that image originally. So if I flip it again, move it back and make it slightly smaller. Okay. We didn't commit to the changes, so if I start working on something else, it's going to unselect that and put it back to normal. So I'm going to commit to that change, and then that locks that in place then. So I'm going to click on this layer now for layer 2 for my other gentleman. Uh, and I'm going to make my man a little bit more. You can see I missed a tiny bit there of my image, so I'd have to take that back. I'd have to delete that, go back into my other image if I wanted to change that. But I'm not going to do that, because obviously I want to finish this video off. Um, I'm happy with that. So the reason why we did that is because we've got perspective. So um, because this this uh, character is smaller, it looks like it's um, closer to the dinosaur, and this and this this character here is closer to us. So it gives the impression that some people are further back than others in the image. So we're going to click uh, to commit those changes. This effect was used in um, Lord of the Rings. So with a with a um, when they did the hobbits, that's how they did it. They did it by filming uh, offset, so some people were closer to the camera than others. Very clever. So now, the last thing we're going to do is uh, to bring in the title. So to do that, I need to uh, remove my background on the title. So I'm going to use the magic wand tool again. This one's quite straightforward. Just highlight it, delete. Right. What didn't I do? I didn't unlock the image. So I'm going to cancel that. Okay. Unlock my layer. Delete. Again, I'm going to use the move tool. I'm going to come up, drop into my main image. Okay, so it's massive at the minute, so let's resize that. Right. So a little bit smaller. Apply the transformation, and there we have it. Okay, so um, if I want to, I could do some more work on that. I think it could just be made a little bit smaller, maybe put it in the corner over here, and maybe even down the bottom. It's up to you where you put it. Okay, find a place you like it, and there we go. So that's how we use different uh, selection tools. Let's commit to that change. Um, and obviously everything is on its own layer. Okay, so um, I could even, if I wanted to, just to demonstrate this, if I put this layer behind the T-Rex, okay, okay, you can see that it's covering slightly there, so that's even better. So. There we are. So that's how we use um, 
the tools to remove those backgrounds and uh, the use of layers. We could even blend in part of the feet by using some of the blur tools. So if I come over to uh, my gentleman here, if I select that layer, which I think is layer, th is layer two. Yes, layer two. Okay, if I use uh, the um, tools over here, so I've got the blur tool or the smudge tool, I could blur the feet. So if I start doing that, okay, it blurs the feet slightly, so it looks like they're disappearing into the grass a little bit. Okay, to take off the sharpness. Okay, so we can use tools like that. So if I did that, the same thing on the foot over here, just the blur tool over there. Select the right layers first. Okay, you can see that I'm blurring that. There we go. Okay, so once you're done, once you're done with that, um, what you're going to be asked to do is to create your own movie poster. So pick a film of your choice and um, over to you.